So you join me in the BMW Z4 GT3 at Laguna Seca. I'm just doing a few laps to talk you through what it's like in the DK2. Taking it very tentatively as the tyres haven't come up to temperature. I should point out that the MoTeC display is actually very clear. You can lean in closer to read it even clearer, but it's fine from the normal seating position. You can see your split times, your lap times, whatever. I don't feel like I'm missing a heads-up display, but it would be useful sometimes to see other players' positions and stuff. Also worth pointing out that what you see here zoomed in, um, there's actually a lot more vertical peripheral view. When you talk about peripheral view in sims you're usually talking about the left and right but actually up and down being able to see particularly uh, your body, the, the full steering wheel in front of you. I mean you're not staring at it but it's, it's significant that it's in your view all the time. You feel much more grounded in, in the environment and it helps to gauge the, the width of the car. You just feel like you're in a car. So uh, placing the, the car accurately on the track is, is very easy, he says, um, taking too much curb there. Any mistake is just showing my incompetence rather than a flaw in the DK2. Missed the apex there again. That's my fault. Going over these sort of blind crests here, like this blind turn in. Nailed that one. It feels very comfortable. And again here there's a bit of an unsighted braking point. Got that turned in fairly well. Going down the corkscrew feels pretty nice in VR. It's not quite like a roller coaster, but you do get that slight sensation of a change in altitude there. Elevation, I should say. Now if you look from the camera view, you'll notice I've turned off the wheel and driver hands. This is because in the current build I'm running a replay and um, the rotation has gone a bit haywire so it would just look pretty distracting if, if I ran the wheel and hands. If you saw that slight head movement downwards that was me actually glancing at the MoTeC there to get the split time. And those slight corrections there uh, when you're at the limit the input lag is not really a problem. I've got V-Sync off for project cars and the response is pretty good. I can catch most little slides. One more lap now that the tyres are reasonably warm, but I won't talk over this one.
the line, as somebody likes to say. That was a 123.27. Bit untidy, but hope it gives you some idea of what it's like to drive quickly uh, on the DK2. Is it good enough for hot lapping like this? Absolutely yes. I hope this was a, an interesting video. Please like and uh, leave some comments, good or bad. Thank you. Goodbye.